anyways, now, without further ado, let me read you my poem on the agile is an adjective, shall we? So agile is not a methodology. Agile is not a mindset. Agile is not even an organizational structure. It is not even a culture. And it's certainly not a noun that you sell with fear. You're surprised and you don't like what I'm telling you right now. Oh, poor you. Put an, L, an, L, an Mlet on your head and go ride your bike in the Rocky Mountain. Because life ain't easy, but it should be easy if you'd like to be real agile. And agility, as an adjective, both in sport and arts, sports will ease in flex your muscle and your body and in arts it will flex your mind to be innovator and create beautiful music beautiful painting beautiful play beautiful script and all of these things like artificial intelligence augmented reality virtual reality will never ever be as agile as a human being could be but the problem with this agile community or agile movement that we're going to discuss more in depth next Friday. So it's a rendezvous next Friday, the 17th at 12 p.m. Eastern time. We're going to denounce a couple of institutions that pretend to be agile and the sense of this objective definition of a way to move and, and, and a way to advance and in a way to progress, which they don't. And uh, all of the above definition that agile could be a methodology, eh. agile could be a mindset, eh. agile is an organizational structure that we couldn't, eh. it's not even a culture. Culture is the enemy of imagination. And by the way, Ryan, that's a round table I would love to do if you could gather people to talk about the culture and even the culture game, but I didn't read that book from Dan. But the culture for me, from what I've learned with Terence McKenna, is the enemy of, 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 an, of the imagination and thus innovation. And I would like, we discussed it openly, to see if it's true or not, because I still don't know. But that's an invitation. But culture, Agile is certainly not a culture. It's only a set of values and principles that inform pattern for you to uncover a new way of producing your goods and delivering your goods and services. That's the fracking objective reality of being and doing agile all at once. Because all of those debate on medium.com and LinkedIn like out of people pretending they know better and they do these uh, this versus this, they are stuck in a mindset of polarity that is bringing us to darkness. So all of the above definitions or use of the qualificative adjective are utilized by insecure and misinterpreted weak consultants, yes, I'll say that much, that partake into the agile industrial complex and contribute to creating the inflation of fakeness and the inflation of disappointment that result as what we saw a couple of weeks ago with Aaron and Ryan, of the Agile Paradoxin. And because of this, 97% of the people fake it till they make it. And they make it wrong and give a bad taste to a great idea and promise, and promise for a better world of work. And we, the 3%, are becoming impatient and grumpy and aggressive, and would like to mill it. Thus, thus, I personally decide to distance myself from that now massive regressive adoption of age aisle, age aisle, to pursue real progress with agile adjective and agile objective with the Open Leadership Network if they want my craziness, invitation-based powerful approach and contribution for renaissance with the eight patterns of open business agility from Mr. Daniel Mizik that I love so much. My intent 
My N10, pay attention, open your ears, open your eye, open your mind. My N10 and propose value from now on. My desire of and to what I would like to put my energy, which is love, is in first the interaction with others first and this will be improved but these are the five thing that i would like to put my energy read love in is common sense and progress one two empirism and subsumption architecture as process enablement over enterprise culture. Yes, let me repeat it again. It could be tricky. The empirism by itself, not empirical process control. That's bullshit. Empirism from science, you know? And the subsension architecture as process enablement over enterprise culture. Fuck your enterprise culture. Fuck your lip services. Put real stuff in it. Put science, arts, and sport and do it. Outcome-based delivery based on OKR, objective and key result, over KPI and bureaucratic C2 approach. This, that was third. My fourth thing I would like to put energy into it. People experience first, all at once, and the improvement of enterprise scrum, proposed value, to real open business agility as the future of leadership. And finally, five, four renaissance. With all of the above four and conscious next level agile leadership. Yours truly, founder of POW Solution and Agile Lounge by AFJ Group Holding Company. Somewhere between New York and Montreal on the planet Earth on October the 31st, 2023. So agile is an adjective described as the ability to move quickly and easily. And agile is not a methodology, is not a mindset, is not an organizational structure or either an enterprise culture, is certainly not a non that you sell with fear. And now, I thank you so much for your attention of accepting, I hope, my invitation to put some energy love into these things. Truly beyond this agile community or movement or whatever the fuck they call themselves. It's pity. I pity them. And that's not good. I know my mom will tell me that's not good. And... Uh, Let's see in the chat now. I'm with you on that, brother. AI will never, ever overcome real emotion. And you have to question ourselves too. And this culture game of Terence McKenna and Dennis McKenna and Graham and Cook, you have to understand that when we say culture is the enemy of the imagination, could you imagine how much culture we take from art and art, it's artificial already. So sometimes I've, that, I've got this hypothesis above and over the uh, stone monkey uh, theory that um, that uh, we are already ourselves, the artist, the artisan, or the artist of this pseudo intelligent stone monkey theorem that's been debunked, but still. Got a goal of you. So have a nice weekend, Ryan. Thanks for being there. And I'll see you soon, privately and and publicly. So it's mostly the end. I just want to go check, though, uh, my Rumble people that I love so much because Rumble is the future of it. So let's see how many people are there because it's always bet more people. And yes, it's you see it's about 30 people watching on Rumble compared to about two, three on YouTube. And I don't know for LinkedIn. And as Ryan tested, 
if you are watching it on LinkedIn, you could chat with me. I will see it without opening another window. Uh, but and now I apologize for the quick feedback you're going to hear. Oh, my goodness. Three, three clicks on LinkedIn to get there. So there is how many people? Five people on LinkedIn. How? Oh, hello. Linked out. Linked out and come join me on, on Rumble or, or YouTube. And uh, is there any chat here? Go to live chat. No. So it's your last 15, 30 seconds to say something in the chat right now. As uh, I would like to bid you an amazing and fantastic weekend for those in the United States. I know it's your day off today for the Veteran Day. So give thanks to them as a Canadian, part of the gang of Canada. But, you know, my gang is the Cosmos. I'm a cosmopolitan. I don't believe in this frontier. And I believe in, in no borders, actually. Uh, I'm a John Leninist. <laughs> Uh, but I could tell you one thing though, uh, I love you because in La Keche, à la Ken, I could be another you in reciprocity. So we're going to end the show like usually with my kind of prayer, with my kind of mantra that remember who you really are. You are wonderful, you are powerful. And you are free to be whoever you wanted to be and to do whatever you wanted to do in respect of one another. Happy weekend, guys, and see you next Friday. Next Friday, it's Coach AF with Agile Wars. That's going to be the logo, and it's going to kick some ass just before my flight to Boston. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Thank you.